we have an urgency right now. Urgency, emergency, whatever you understand, I think. I don't always look the best after 4 p.m. It's just how it is. Have you heard of Melbourne Cup? Tomorrow it's Melbourne Cup and we have a massive party at the office from 12 p.m. And of course, I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. The day where Australians are the fanciest you can possibly get on this planet. Me, I wait right now to pick an outfit. I already have a head that's too big for most hats, or for every hat actually. Knowing in advance that because my head is too big for me to wear any hat, people are no matter what going to be fancier than me. <laughs> On top of it, I'm not a fancy, fancy person. I'm a very easygoing, as you can see, I think. You can see all of the little, little things like from the humidity. I go to work like that, it's okay. So, that's where the urgency is. It is time for me to find an outfit and you are going to help me. Even though by the time I would be posting this, it would be too late. At least you can give me your vision for maybe next year. Better to ask today for next year than last minute again next year. Let me tell you the plan. I'm gonna pull out the only couple of outfits that I do have and kind of look beautiful. And then I will try them on. For those who don't know, Melbourne Cup, it's an annual horse race that is held in Melbourne in Australia. That's all I know, that is a horse race, basically. It's just something that is so big in Australia. In my case, I'm having the party, for example. Basically, it's the perfect occasion for Australians to show off their most outfits. You would walk in the streets, it is full of people, beautifully dressed, with big massive hats, and it's almost to who the best dressed award is gonna go to. I would love to understand, you know, where it comes from all of this. It's something that I had only seen in movies. It's very famous that the race course is usually like people would dress up and look really good. Yes, no matter what, I'm gonna be underdressed. It's so frustrating. I'm not gonna look good, 100%. I promise you the outfit really changed the whole entire person. I promise you I can look better than this. Like why not? Just don't judge me. Don't judge me. No, I should probably look at the shoes before I look at the dress because I don't have 3,000 shoes. Focus my friend. Focus. Because you might not know but my shoe size is 42. Europe size. And in Australia it's 11. I don't have 3,000 choices in terms of shoes. That's probably why I never wanted to really dress up fancy because no matter what I wouldn't have had the shoes for it. I have a couple of shoes that could be okay acceptable this autofocus i swear voila so of course i have to get angry for it to work all right oh no the destroyer oh no i don't have three thousand choices i don't care no one's gonna see i had these ones they were my only ones that were okay no they be broken here i don't know what's going on Putain, i don't have three thousand shoes that can fit me definitely it's something about humidity I haven't worn them only once. The other pair is this one. Absolutely not. Like what is gonna fit with these? I don't even know why I bought those ones. It's just because anything that is my size and less than less than twenty dollars, I buy. Because I don't have a choice. It doesn't exist often in my size, so well, tell me. Tell me if this is okay to wear on Melbourne Cup. Maybe this represents nothing to most of Australians that would watch this video, so please make me feel better. No, I don't have a tripod yet. Will come, will come eventually. Well, I don't have the most enormous place, so there's only so much distance we can have. Oh, I could put you in the kitchen as well to see if needed. Let me see what would look better. Like this, probably the best option. I'll try everything, then I'll come back. Are you ready? Focus! Focus! <laughs> Look at that! No, this is not a real head. And remember that I live with a Nordic man. I really like this one. If there's food I can eat, no one's gonna notice. It's just so comfortable. It's super long, so then it doesn't really matter what I'm wearing under. I like this one. I haven't worn it in so long. And this one, I've actually had it for over 10 years, so I hope you like it as well. Maybe you don't at all. Well, but if you don't, you don't. I just noticed there's a hole. Are you joking? Who made a hole in it? Well, no one's gonna notice. That's what I have to tell myself. So, yeah, choice number one. And this is number two. I haven't worn something looking almost nice for a long time. What do you think? I like this one, it's super comfortable as well. I don't know, you tell me. I really like the material, it's so comfortable, it's beautiful. Because <gasps> I want it to be chic, elegant. So yes, tell me. This was number two.
Oh, mon dieu. Look how beautiful this one looks like. This is absolutely stunning, but I'm a bit insecure because I don't like that my back is showing because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation. But wow, but this one is the same. This one, uh, oh, I really like it though, it's really stunning. Am I gonna be bold enough to go and wear that at the office? I don't think so. That's the only problem. It's like it's beautiful, but it's still the office. Let's calm down. <laughs> Same, this one I've had it for 10 years. Oh my god, I really like this one. It's really the most comfortable one. It's not too out there for the office, that's how I feel at least. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I really love it. I want to feel comfortable, I want to be able to talk to people and move around and it's like, I think, I think I like this one. Please don't tell me you hate it in the comments because that's going to make me sad if I happen to choose it. But right now I really like it. We will see, but I really like it. <laughs> in case you had not understood, I really like it. Okay, don't get me wrong, I love this dress. I'm literally in love, especially the green apple color. But no, 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 this is not office appropriate for myself. It's not appropriate, I'm not talking about anyone else. It's me and my own comfort. I've already had a couple of incidents in just trying it on and walking around in the house. Nope, I can't take the risk. Do I love this dress though? <sighs> Absolutely. No, 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 I am a bit scared. Well, I hope this one is not your pick because I literally cannot pick this one for obvious reasons. If I was in Thailand on the beach, maybe, why not? Not at the office. This is the skirt that I love so much. It has pocket, which is perfect. I can put my phone in. I felt very comfortable in it, obviously. It's a perfect cut. And this is one of the tops that I'm thinking of. It's not super fancy. I find it like class, elegant, easy going, not too much over the top, which I know the whole day is all about that, being over the top, but it's difficult. My accessory would be my hair. Wearing mascara for the first time in I don't know how many months. And having this of heels. I promise you, this is already a lot for me. I don't know, I think I've made up my mind. One more top to try on with this. And that would be my entire selection. I think I want to fit back because even though it's not on time for you to actually tell me which one to wear, which I would have loved to have. As usual, Madame Last Minute, huh? Elena, of course. It would be good for me to have an idea of what's good or appropriate, especially according to Australians at the office, for Melbourne Cup. A party at the office, basically. It's my first year having a party in an office. I've never worked really at an office before, so that's why also I'm a little bit lost. First option with the skirt. I really like that top. And it's literally, I believe, the best material and best kind of like shape for this weather. Because it's like warm, but not that warm. I have the turtleneck, which I adore. I love it. And actually, I just thought of it, I actually have another skirt. So I might try it on, it's black, and it would be very easy for me then to choose a pair of shoes. But I still want your opinion. How do you feel about that one? I hope you understand. Please don't expect anything extravagant. Please, I don't want to disappoint you. I'm so sorry. Oh, look at this turtleneck. It's stunning. I love it. I love this outfit. Why I don't dress up a little bit more fancy here and there? I don't know why. But yes, I really like it. But I have a feeling I'm going to be told that this is not like party enough. This is not Melbourne Cup enough. I know. But I do feel comfortable and it's elegant. But it's true, it doesn't feel like party theme. Especially, I forgot to say. I completely forgot to say the most important, the theme. <laughs> the theme is... Definitely don't fit the theme then. The theme is cherry blossom. You know, Japanese cherry blossom. So, this is not right. So, uh, I don't know why I didn't think of that before because now it's pretty obvious which one I should be picking. And I think you know as well. 
but you're gonna have to find out and wait and find out tomorrow luckily for you tomorrow is in a couple of seconds or was for me it's tomorrow i'm gonna wash my hair so you might not recognize me tomorrow when my hair will be clean i'm thinking if it's not raining to ride my bicycle so then i would probably put on my outfit at work straight away i think i've made my choice i can only hope that i'm not going to be completely out of theme no matter what i will be underdressed i know i'm not gonna win the best dress that's for sure but it's fine because if you go there knowing it there's no disappointment. <laughs> ah, it feels so good. Tell my hair clean. Yes, yes. This is how I look like when I got out of the shower. No judgment, please. I'll put the towel on top afterwards. But this is how I look like, literally. I washed my hair, got rid of most of the hair on my body that I could. What I'm gonna do now, because it's very necessary. So let me put you here, like this. Something needs to happen here, because I'm telling you, I don't know if you can see, but it's like, I have one eyebrow, okay? Not saying there's anything wrong with having now one eyebrow. For others, once again, it's all about me, how I'm feeling. This is not good anymore. I can leave months without doing anything, but not for the classiest day of the year. No, I cannot. I cannot. Come on, Elena. And then, uh, bon, uh, let's not get too close, okay? Let's uh, let's make it, like, you know, friendly, but... I'm not gonna show you the mustache from front front. Uh, there's no point, but there is a mustache. I'm using my cream. No need to show you brand unless you want to know the brand. Just ask me if you want to know the brand. Basically, a sensitive skin, aloe vera and vitamin E hair removal cream. That's what I've started using when I was a bit younger and I didn't know how to get rid of the hair. It's been working and I usually don't need to do it for at least like a month. It might regrow, but I do it once a month maximum because it's uh, me. <laughs> me and my laziness. I can't believe that this is how I look on the internet. It's not even focused. Ah, now it is. Well, I mean, it's not, it's difficult to do it here, so I'm just gonna, oh yeah, I've put it absolutely everywhere. Just a little bit. This is how I look like, I cannot believe. Oh, mon dieu, mon dieu. Better, better begin, my friends, after that, because honestly, like, showing myself like that. But it's the truth, though. This is literally what I do once a month to not have a mustache. So, it's either we talk, we talk real, we don't talk at all. That's how I feel. Something that I definitely don't do enough is looking after this one, and these two as well. I think it's done. So, like this, I cannot believe I'm looking like that. No way. No way I'm putting this on the internet. Then, in the middle. If I want to remember that it's seven minutes, I need to put a timer. So now it's been at least two minutes for sure. Come on, Elena. That's why it starts burning. Timer, I'm going to put five minutes now. No, 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 not 99 minutes. Five. Ready? And then I need to cook. I might be red tomorrow, so I don't know if it's really worth it, but... The difference, that's better. I remember I used to cry so much doing that when I was younger. Just taking one was so painful. I remember asking my mom, like, how do you do it? It's pulling a hair, like how it doesn't hurt. And then she says, you get used to it. And it's actually true. I've gotten used to it and it doesn't hurt anymore. Especially here, like right above the eye. And, like a tear would come out of my eye. I don't even know what I'm doing. Maybe I'm gonna ruin the entire shape. I mean, not that I had a shape. Maybe one day I'll pay a professional to do it. One day. I've done it once when I was younger and I was so unhappy with the result, I couldn't recognize my face, that I was like, never again, never again. And I'm sure like there are a lot of competent people out there that I could trust, but I don't know. <gasps> oh, but this is catastrophic. Maybe I should definitely hire a professional. <gasps> Mon Dieu, but this is bad. Oh, lo, 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 lo. Mais non, Elena, mais non. Maybe I shouldn't have waited 24 hours before. Oh, it's not great, but it is. It's a little bit better of a shape. Don't come and look closer because that's not nice. Ah, it's been five minutes too. Not too, too bad. Not great, but not too, too bad. That's a little bit better. It will do. Now, let's get rid of this one. Voila, it's gone. Night cream, essential, some vitamin C. Not that I know if it makes any difference. It just makes me feel good. Last step is putting this hair inside the towel and I'm gonna be cooking some noodles you have to tell me if you're interested in seeing me cooking or eating it feels so good to be clean can you see a difference on my face do you feel like the shape of my eyebrows is different and better I can see the difference I'm so happy oh, this is a big difference
difference, big difference, it feels like a new woman. Just because I'm lazy to get a pacifier. How to save time, Nina? How to save time? Ah, better! Are you kidding me? Mmm, the noodles, they're perfect! Mmm. Mmm, so good. Bon appétit. Good morning! <laughs> I literally just woke up. Oh mon dieu. Really, literally. Right now, I'm just gonna have my normal morning. Take my breakfast and everything. I had to show you. Look at the light coming in in the morning. I love it. And then in one hour, it's done. All gone away. Far. As I was looking in the mirror this morning, I was like, I forgot, but I've done my eyebrows. <laughs> I wake up this morning and I feel like I'm a new person. It was not that difficult, Elena. It was not that difficult. I just washed my face. Mm. Oh, it's the best feeling. It's so beautiful outside. I'm watching the sky. It's oh, absolutely amazing. I love putting sunscreen on. My sunscreen, it hydrates me and it protects me. There's no better feeling than that. And I don't know why, weirdly, I love the smell of sunscreen. Maybe there's something wrong with me. I don't want to know. Thanks. Voila! Absolutely perfect. Voila! Now I'll see you later because I need to have my breakfast. I make my own cereals. So good. My pleasure in the morning to wake up to the taste I exactly want to have. Yum! This is my breakfast. I have to always get rid of everything because I do not understand why there should be so much. Not needed. It's almost like only the brush is needed. Not the easiest thing to do it on the camera. But normally I would have had a cream to at least put on my face because I don't wear any makeup so I never have anything for it. But to cover at least my hyperpigmentation but I don't have any and I'm not gonna go and buy one just for that. I would have felt better but at the same time everyone sees me every day and I'm used to it and I don't want my skin to be like the reason why I wouldn't look class like I don't want it to be an obstacle like this is me I'm already making a lot of effort. I have stuff on my lips and again no one tells me every time. Oh, it's crazy how it changes everything, the mascara. Wow, could almost fly with my eyes right now. But I'm happy that I don't wear it often and every day because I really appreciate it when I do wear it. It makes a massive difference. The only thing though is I'm so used to not wearing anything that sometimes I'm just going and I'm like, oh, I'm tired. I, I cannot do that. I have to remember. Oh, no, 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 no. it's going everywhere, you know. You've lost your skills. You've lost your skills. I mean, I can literally fly. Ah, no, no, my alarm is coming off. Absolutely not. Yes, because I have an alarm for when it's time to go. Come on, Elena. It's gonna look like really I'm not the type of girl that can even put mascara on. Come on, Elena, make an effort. Voila. It looks so different and I don't have any mustache and I don't have a unibar. I know you're proud of me right now. I know you're proud of me. <laughs> Right now I need to get myself ready, I'm going to brush my teeth and go. I mean my feet are going to be visible as well, oh you know. <laughs> Please no judgement. But this is how I look like every morning. I wear this every morning, my goodness. You've seen worse of me now. This is exactly why I'm not trying to look good in the of the week. Because whenever I'm a basic girl, I'd rather work I look like a dead rat. I did say that the toilets were going to be busy. Of course they are. I'm not going to speak too loud because people can hear me talking. Which is a little bit weird. So, I'm going to get changed. Everyone is looking so fancy. It's always
always all about the food. Mmm, it's so good. Mm. Beautiful, thank you so much. Oh, yum. Yeah. Finally found a spot where I feel like I can just breathe and take, you know, a little bit of a step back. I felt so overwhelmed when there's so many people. I always found myself somewhere on the corner needing to just build my own. Oh, why? I feel overwhelmed. Why hiding and going on my own somewhere, isolating myself is the only thing that makes me feel good. I don't like being like that. I don't remember being like that before. I feel overwhelmed. I want to get better at it, but it's going to take me a little bit more time. At least I'm sure a lot of you have guessed that I was gonna show is that I don't have a lot of stuff that I pink. Of course, typical me thinking of the theme after choosing 3000 outfits instead of just thinking of the theme and then choosing. The party is good, the food is good, I'm just overwhelmed and I need some time on my own. I'm back! <laughs> oh my god! Australians surely know how to party. I've changed now already as you can see just because I had to ride the bicycle and there was no way I was going to do that in the dress. So yeah I know it was a very simple very very simple glow up right. It is a, some sort of a glow up for me just because I'm not used to you know making myself look a little bit better and stuff like I'm very just super simple constantly never wear makeup never really dress up. Obviously I don't have so many occasions for it. The minute there's an occasion it's a pleasure for me because it feels good it feels good. I feel different I feel a bit better about myself but obviously compared to everyone else. <gasps> insane like everyone was just so well dressed it's just pff, incredible i've had some couple of winners out there like honestly i had a colleague of mine who literally made a hat and she's put like fake grass on it horses figurines and then a cup just like for the race and i'm just like people are so creative that was a great afternoon and day i've had a lot of moments where i felt only it's normal it's just gonna be like that i think quite often i'm gonna get better at this i just wanted to thank you for watching up until this point i am working at getting more and more comfortable in uncomfortable situations i want to learn about myself and i think this channel is just a perfect way for me to do that it's forcing me as well to look back at it and realize a lot of things i'm sure that when i'm gonna be editing and see that i was feeling so out of place it's not gonna make me feel good because now it's been a couple of hours i feel better but it's so strange that i still go through those faces you would think that i'm confident and that i feel so good and i'm out there but yeah no <laughs> i'm not i'm not that much at all but anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you very soon, next week. And in the meantime, just take good care of yourself. A glow up can be as inexpensive as you want it to be. A glow up could be also mentally speaking. You don't have to look a certain way. You don't have to think a certain way. It's all about you feeling good, okay? Don't forget that. Oh, the noise, I just wanted to say goodbye. Well, I guess goodbye, see you next week. Mwah!